Basketball. Just a game for many, but a lifestyle for some. Every day when you walk past your local gym or just across the road, there are basketball players all around us. I'm sure a question that many of us have asked is, how do they do it? Could I pick up the ball, step onto the court and make millions of dollars a year? Is Michael Jordan a real person or a mascot made up by Nike to sell more shoes? Or perhaps the question we should be asking isn't how, but why? What do you know about being a professional athlete? It's a lot harder than people think. It's so mentally draining. Pretty much nothing, just that it's really hard work. No, what? They earn a lot of money. Absolutely nothing. Um, it's a lot of hard work and time that you have to spend dedicated to it. What's one question you would ask a professional basketball player today if you're given the chance? Um. Who do you look up to? When they knew that they wanted to like be a professional athlete. Carve alone. Um, why do you look up to Oscar Lee so much? Now that we've heard from some students, let's ask Ricardo Martin about his experiences as a professional basketball player. Oh, uh, a basketball journey, man. It's a long one because um, I'm 29, so it's a long journey. Um, but I started playing um, when I was about five uh, at this place called Upper Bound. Um, it was a church league, and um, you got little wristbands to tell like who you guarded. So I always wanted to be red because red was the best player on the team. Um, I was able to get a, a scholarship to a Division II. Um, Chawan University left there after my freshman year, and then left and went to Lander University. and did my last two years there, um, where I became the captain my senior year, and we, we broke a few records and whatnot. Um, then I left there and I uh, went on tour in South America, in Chile. Um, left there, went to uh, Mexico. Uh, left Mexico, went to Spain. And then um, I've been playing in Australia since 2017. Some people just say, oh, you just play basketball for a living, and that's it. But they don't understand what goes into it, from getting up early in the mornings, to sacrificing, not seeing your family, not seeing your friends, not being able to hang out with your girlfriend, not being able to do the things that normal people are able to do, because you know, people get up and work at 9 to 5 and they know exactly how their day's going to go. But, you know, I, I wake up, you know, some mornings at 5.30 and go work out. And then, yeah, I'm blessed enough to be able to take a nap. But I got to go get back up and go lift and then get finish that lift and then go make sure I'm eating the right way. And then finish that lift and eating the right way and then go get back on court and then train myself again and then train a kid. And then go back out and do some more practices. So it's more than what you just see of just, oh, uh, they're able to just get up and go and do as they please. It's not so. It's not so. So. Um, it's all worth it in the end, but it's just as hard as just having a 9 to 5. It's not hard. I knew that I was not going to be stopped. You know, so at the age of 18, this was my life. I think I was born to play, man. I started playing at like two years old. I was just around the game a lot, and uh, I gravitated to the ball, and I was completely geeking out about, like, the smell of the ball and, like, the way it sounds when it hits concrete versus how it hits a parquet floor. To answer your question, I was born to do this thing, man, and, and I did it um, nonstop, all day long, um, from the age of two to when I retired, man. What would you say is your biggest passion in life? Biggest passion. Right now, it's eating. I really enjoy eating. But I like media as well, yeah. Teaching yeah. you, of course. I probably have to say basketball. I've yeah. done that. Mm. I've got higher goals, man. Media, specifically cinematography. What made you start playing basketball? Probably my dad. Funnily enough, I enjoy it because of the students in the classroom. Um, I just got a camera for Christmas um, a couple of years ago. So the one thing about teaching and how it's different to like being a milkman or something like that is that every day is different. You know, I think that's what makes teaching interesting. And I started making like short films and taking photos of stuff. 
I don't know, maybe I'll take you into like this different alternate universe, you can make your own world and it's great, great. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. He's gonna edit it to make me look bad now. <laughs> <laughs> The reason I decided to make this documentary was to show how something which may appear simple like a sport can build communities and relationships and teach many valuable lessons. For me, the greatest thing that basketball has done is build a strong work ethic and sense of camaraderie. And just having something that I work so hard on builds both my physical and mental health. I also really love the bonds that I can build with my teammates and people who share that love for basketball with me. As you can see from the various people that we talk to, this love and dedication to any craft or career brings an important sense of belonging and meaning into people's lives. So, to answer my question from before, that's why. is your biggest passion in life? Uh, my biggest passion in life? Oh. Oh, see, I don't know, I don't have any passions. I like have zero aspirations for anything. Sorry, don't put that in, don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs>